If your iPhone feels sluggish or if your battery is dying way faster than it should, it's probably not the phone's fault. It's the settings. I realized this morning that I've uh, been transferring the same digital junk from one iPhone to the next for years. So I did a full audit for 2026. I found five settings that are still in your data, killing your flow, and honestly, one of them is basically stalking you. I'm going to show you exactly what to turn off right now. Let's clean this up. Let's start with the biggest battery offender, the silent thief. Most tech YouTubers will tell you to turn background app refresh off completely to save battery. That's a myth. Don't do that. If you turn it off, apps have to reload from scratch every time you open them. It makes your thousand dollar phone feel cheap and slow. Here is the actual secret. Go to general, background app refresh, tap the top menu and switch it to Wi-Fi only. This is the sweet spot. Now your apps only update when you're safe at home or the office, connected to infinite power. But when you're out walking around, the thief stops stealing your data and battery. That saves battery. But this next setting is about your safety. I call this one the pocket stalker. Deep into your setting services, your iPhone keeps a creepy, detailed diary of everywhere you go. It knows where you sleep, where you work, and which coffee shop you visit every Wednesday. Apple says it's for traffic routing, but if anyone ever breaks into your phone, they have a map of your entire life. Let's delete it right now. Go to privacy and security, location services. Scroll all the way down to system services. Find significant locations. Hit clear history and then toggle that switch off. In fact, your GPS still works, your maps still work. You just stopped carrying a digital witness in your pocket. You know that feeling when you open a new app and it immediately begs to track your activity across other websites? It's annoying. It adds friction and the answer is always no. So let's stop the begging before it starts. Go to privacy and security, then tracking. See this toggle? Allow apps to request to track. Turn it off. Now apps are automatically blocked from tracking your IDFA identifier. They don't even get to ask you anymore. No more begging, just privacy by default. This next one is about principle. I paid a lot of money for this iPhone. I don't feel the need to be an unpaid test subject for Apple. By default, your iPhone is constantly sending diagnostic data to Apple to help them improve their products. But it uses your battery and your data plan to do it. Go to privacy and security, analytics and improvements, toggle off share iPhone analytics. It stops your iPhone from compiling background reports. It maximizes efficiency for you, not for them. Okay, last one. This is for your mental peace. There is nothing worse than being in the flow. Editing a photo or checking your bank balance and a pop-up screams. Do you love us? Rate us five stars. It's a total buzzkill. It breaks your focus. Let's silence it forever. Go to settings, scroll down to App Store, find in app rating and reviews and just kill it. Turn it off. You can still rate apps manually if you really love them. But now you do it on your terms, not when an app decides to interrupt you. Most of us thread up iPhones like storage units. We just kept accumulating digital clutter. This five tweaks stop the drain and give you back your privacy. And if I missed a setting that you always turn off, please drop it in the comments. I want to know. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and see you on next video. Bye.